policy 5420 student health services we have a change coming in in the start of our current school year to the immunization requirements for students this policy brings us uh, up to date with the state's immunization requirements policy 8635 the information security breach and notification this is a new policy and it's in align with a lot of the concerns that centered around the state's in bloom project for required actions the district might take in the event there is a breach of our security involving student information. Um, to see if we can take a motion to waive the literal re reading, if you'd like. Like a motion to waive the literal reading? Motion. Do we have a second? Second. Any comments or questions? All those in favor? Great. And a motion to adopt. Motion to five. adopt the six policies. Motion. Do we have a second? Second. Any comments or questions? All those in favor? Thank you, Mr. Graham, with the commission. Now we send these back to school boards association and they load and they will, will join the policies we already have on our website. We'll That's continue great. to update that platform. We have two policies for first reading that are only for renumbering. Um, as we're doing more and more policies through school boards, our old numbering system is starting to bump into our new numbering system. So when we have events like that, so it's policy 7511, the public use of school facilities policy will remain unchanged. It'll just be numbered 1500. And policy 4527, the wellness. Again, the policy will not change, but it will now be policy number 5405. So we need a motion to waive a little reading. So motion to waive a little reading of those two policies? Motion. Do we have a second? Second. Comments or questions? All those in favor? Second reading in August. In August, thank you. And um, the, the next item is adjournment, but uh, I, I'd like to make a comment before the adjournment. And um, one of the things that I'd like to say is that um, I would really like to um, thank uh, James and Frank um, for the work that they've done on behalf of the district. Um, James and Frank have uh, been a tremendous resource for the district uh, and will continue to be a tremendous resource for the district. Um, their leadership and guidance for the district has been uh, outstanding, in my opinion. Um, and I think that um, their ability to provide support uh, for us as we go forward, uh, uh, you know, into this year is, um, you know, applauded and, and I really do appreciate the fact that um, their heart is in it for the right reasons. They're here for the children. They've done the right things for children and I just wanted to let them know that I really appreciate them as, as people and for everything that they've done for the school district. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And um, I guess I'd like to ask for a motion to adjourn. Motion. Do we have a second? Second. Comments or questions? All those in favor? Yes. 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 yes.